Hello, welcome to Stitch 22 Project. Uh, this is week 15 um, and this time I'm going to introduce you to a, a stitch called or a, a formation called uh, the woven wheel, a woven wheel and where, where we're going to weave in and out of some um, sh larger, longer stitches that we, we've built as a, as a, as a, as a base. Not not dissimilar to the darning process of the last week stitch. Um, this time we're we're making um, more of a, a, a curved shape with radiating big radiating um, warp, warp stitches or maybe little little simple cross cross stitch, a very long cross stitch um, or a sort of an inter interconnected um, almost a spider's web sort of uh, shape. Um, or just shapes, uh, lines which have been um, made at, at angles or curves um, to, to form a sort of a sweep of lines. Uh, the stitch we're going to be doing into the 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 the, the, um, the, the, the so-called woven wi the wheel is a back a, a back stitch, which you'll be familiar with. Um, the the thread goes through. Underneath one spoke, I'm going to call it a spoke rather than a, a warp line this time. Uh, underneath the one that you're coming up through and it, moving on to the second one. So it's actually going over two spokes each time. Under one and under one. Under two. Keep turning it round. Under the spoke that you've just come under again, and then moving on to the next spoke, moving it round. Underneath the spoke that we've just come underneath, and going underneath the next spoke. It, it is very, very much like a um, a stem stitch formation, which is why I, I, I call it referred to as a stem stitch. So you can see it's building up quite a lovely little, almost a little, little, a raised bit along each of the spokes. Um, the, the square one, which I can show you here, is um, also a lovely one to do, but it, it's exactly the same one uh, process. You go underneath the spoke that you've just come underneath and then into the next one. Because there's only four spokes to to put your thread around, you need to concentrate on where the next one is because sometimes they get they get a little bit further away each time. And can you see that the thread is building up rather a lovely sort of raised casing, I suppose you could call it, along each spoke. So it's making quite a, a nice nice effect. Let me show you the uh, process of of working. With, with the the lines which don't form a circle, you you go back and forwards. But again, it's a stem stitch. You go underneath the spoke that you're your your nearest, and then move it underneath the the, the spoke. This on the next route, as it were, the next spoke, underneath the previous the the current one, and then forwards. And you can see I'm using a different colour thread to previously so you can build up a um, quite a lovely batch of colours or stripy colours or subtlety of colours as you wish and it in a way the um the these shapes are making rather a lovely um uh, you can see that a lot of the so circular in nature of where, where you've gone round in a complete circle, obviously, and where you're not, you're, you're almost having a, a grasses or a sweep of trees or landscape or even water, something watery, which you might um, relate to. So have fun with the woven wheel and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for watching.